welcome to my channel um, in today's video I was going to do something with some foil and bits and pieces and it really didn't go well I absolutely cut loads out because um, I was trying to do this new thing with foil and it just weren't happening I was getting so frustrated so in the end I just used a bit of striping tape and some gems um, this is just striping tape I've got in my house um, I've got it from A&A &A Glitter, I'll put the name down of the company below, um, but yeah, it's just, it was frustrating, frustrating. Alright, just a little tip, if you're going to put on some striping tape, always cut it a little, tiniest little bit shy of the edge of your nail, so that when you top coat it, you actually seal them edges in, because if you cut it just to the right length and you don't seal it in, it will lift and then you'll get a picker. And they'd be like, oh, striping tape came off. And I'd be like, yeah, because you picked it, mate. That's why your striping tape came off. That's my fault. So just cover it. So after the debacle of glit of foil, I just thought, I'll oh, just use gems. <laughs> so I've got my gems. I'm going to list them down below. These are all gems I had. And do you know what? I've got so many gems, and I just never knew what to do with them. I've got some real big pointy back ones, man. Massive ones. I'm going to have to figure out a design for those, and I'll use them. Because... You buy gems and you're like, oh, they look so pretty. But you, if you don't know what you're doing, you're just like, yeah, they really look pretty, but that's all. If you don't know what to do or have thought of a design, you don't know. So what I did was I put the star shape on, and then what I did was I got my um, Nail Kami uh, Totalist Gem Glue, and then I just drew three lines coming off like a, like, um, I don't know what you want to call it, like trails, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> so what I did was I just put them on, like my um, caviar beads or bullion beads. Now, a little tip is, what I do is with my my beads, I lay them out on my tissue and separate them, and that way you can actually see the sizes, because in the pot they all look the same, but some of them are smaller and some are bigger. So when you're doing something with bullion beads, always try and make sure that you're using it's the same size, because if you use one that's either too big or too little, it's going to look odd. That's why I took that one out. So now I'm going to try and make a little cluster using... A small gem so what I do is I put one on one side and then one on the other and now I just sit here and I absolutely fluff flaff 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 trying to do it this way let's do it that way no it takes forever and they're so tiny and what I say ain't that brilliant but anyway once I was happy I put them together um, I baked that in the light and then what I did was I gave it a full cure for a minute and then what I did was I put another tiny little bit at the end to put another gem in the bottom. Um, it's like the mouse face that i done on my video. So if you watch that video, it's exactly the same principle, just on a really tiny scale. Then I thought, what do I do? What else am I going to do? So on the other sides, I just thought I'd just put two little, I mean, these ones are tiny and I've got ones that are smaller than that and I dropped the pot everywhere at one time. Oh! So I've done the same thing, I've gone out of shot, but I've done the same thing with the red, but instead of putting three, I just put two, and I put them so they're, they're actually on the end of the chain, instead of hanging off it. Um, I've done that on both sides, um, and then once I was happy with that, I gave that a full cure. Then I put a tiny little um, caviar bead in the bottom of them, because there's a gap, and I need to fill that gap. Um, yeah, I mean, has anyone gone to have a look at this? this 30 nails, 30 days. It's really, really good. There's someone there a bit daunting, like hand painted art. Now, that mouth picture that I showed you on my last video, that is just nothing compared to some of the pictures that you can do. I haven't done any of the acrylic artwork because I just feel a bit overwhelmed with that. I like the painting, but yeah. Have a look, go over on their Facebook group or Sam Biddle's website, Be Inspired co.uk or .com I'm really sorry if I've got that wrong um, it's, it's, um, I'll link it in the description box below so you can go and have a look yourselves it's really good it's really affordable it tells you everything that you need um, you can always substitute stuff if you haven't got enough uh, yeah it's really good so here what I'm trying to do is because the star is flat and the nail is curved I'm trying to put some bullion beads just around caviar beads, bullion beads just around the top just to fill that gap um, and to be honest with you it looks alright because it came round like a chain hanging off the top of the star so I was quite happy with that to be honest I'm really happy with this nail turned out 
but yeah, I mean, yeah, I am really happy with that. But I have just noticed today that one bullion bead on the red beads is smaller than the other. Yeah, when you're doing bullion beads, try and get them even. You don't want your artwork to look odd, because it will look odd if one's out of shape. If, if one's out of place, it just throws it right off. So now what I'm doing is, because of the glue, it's scrudged out and it's shiny, and then I'm on a matte top coat, I'm just getting some matte top coat and I'm filling out the little gaps. But don't flood it, because you don't want no um, gem glue, uh, top coat on your bullion beads or on your gems, because you will lose them lovely shiny facets. And then what I did was I got my brush and I just went over what I could do with my brush. Because I'd done one the other day and flooded it and it looked awful. So yeah, this is my um, nail for this week's video. I hope it's alright. Oh, whoops, there we go. Just wipe it. If that happens, you drop it. Just wipe it again with the brush. And this is it, finished. What do you think? Don't look too bad, does it? I really enjoyed doing that. I love this course. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um... Yeah, I mean, don't feel daunted or anything. It is really good. I have put some videos of the of the gems at the end. I'm trying to get a bit more artistically artist ish. Um, yeah. So this is it. Let me know what you think. Leave any comments in the description comments box below. I'll leave all the descriptions, like all the goodies, in the description box. And here comes the gems. You'll take it easy. Have a lovely evening. Ta-da. Bye.